this green was built 15 years ago and it was very early in the history of aqua greens at that time in the company history we did not have the the really advanced level of software that we now do the buoyancy values were figured out with pencil and paper and we are light years beyond that type of calculation we, everything's computerized now and modeled and it's just a very different process so as we're here there are slight innuendos to changes on the flotation to kind of make it more perfect for how it should float we did a really good job in the early years of figuring out where to put the floats um, but every single one there's 55 floats on this green every single one of them is at a different height so the the precision we now have we didn't have in the earlier years um, so while we're working on the flotation uh, some of them need to be adjusted you know a quarter of an inch some of them are three or four inches um, the, the cumulative effect is just less stress on the aluminum frame. If everything is pushing up at an equal level, there's less stress on the frame. Buoyancy is getting in a boat and knowing it's gonna float. You can think of every single float here like an individual boat that's pushing up on the green to keep it afloat. Um, so, you know, if you get a boat full of water, it's gonna sink. And so some of these floats, not a lot, but there's some that are a boat full of water for lack of a better imagery. It's just a float full of water doesn't do too much. So um, we're finding the, the boats, so to speak, we're finding the floats that are full of water and we're getting them out of there and putting a, a new boat, basically a new flotation device under, under there in its place. So as an example on the flotation, uh, what we're working on here, uh, this particular unit has a buoyancy value that requires it to be pressed into the water almost two inches. So the float rails that are there holding that float into place, they will be repositioned lower, which is actually a saw process. It's a very, very involved process to cut what is here and, and set it to a new height. Um, so we've got really, we're cutting the frame apart, but then we're also welding it back together. Every single float here will go through that process of getting set to a new height. The green itself, is a custom fabrication. When we do a design, uh, we, we do a buoyancy analysis on the entire frame and every single float that gets bolted to the frame is gonna get bolted in at a different height. While we are in the fabrication facility building these greens, that process is really critical on the construction end of it to get the float heights correct from the get-go. So that, again, it's, it really comes down to the frame. You want everything pushing at the right amount on the frame so that there's a balance and equilibrium on the pressure to the frame. We design the frame with all of the floats in place in virtual space and then it is basically placed into a virtual body of water and the, the software measures how much load is on each float location. So that tells us how much weight is there. We then interpret that data into how much buoyancy each float can provide and come up with what depth to place it into the pond. So some of our work here is to just make it a healthier green. It's been in the water 15 years. If it doesn't get a hurricane, it'll be here for another 100 years. But we want to make sure that the frame has an even amount of pressure on it throughout the future of its life. 